Hello. If you're watching this, you're probably wondering, who, who am, am I? I? I mean, who are you? Why am I watching your YouTube video? Or if if you're watching my YouTube video, I, I'm, I'm not even sure if this video will blow up. I, I, I want to make a Netflix style documentary interview of myself with myself. So the initial idea was that I would get what was the word? A single footage with both of myself in the same room. So like there'll be two chairs and then the interviewer is the interviewer is myself interviewing myself. So I would take the same take two different shots in the same location, not moving the camera at all, and then cut it in half and then stitch the two clips together and then voila, it's two people now. But um I didn't have much time to do that. I, I, I scratched that. I, I changed the whole the whole idea and made like totally two different clips of myself cutting side by side like a movie scene. It, hopefully it will be like a movie to you. Yeah. Look, listen, I'm I'm a I'm a beginner filmmaker, okay? I already have the basic understandings. It's just that I don't have the right equipment. I'm good in editing, but I don't have the right equipment. So forgive me if it looks like crap. Censor that. Put crap. I, I, I only made vlogs for my own leisure, for families and friends to watch. But today I decided to embrace it. And, bra and, and brave and be brave. I hope you'll enjoy it. Oh yeah, and I also have a, a channel for animations. It's horrible, don't... It's horrible. I mean, if you want to subscribe, then cool, but don't. So, I hope you'll enjoy. Bye. Please support my channel. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nurfati Nabila. I'm currently 18. Well, I... Well, the truth is, science was always a passion I had since I was little. Sounds cliche, but it's true. I used to be such a big dreamer. All of my old ambitions were almost impossible. I wanted to be a president, scientist, work for NASA, Astronaut. It is July 20th, 1969, and man is about to land on the moon. obsessed with the thrill of going into outer space, the unknown dangers that could be fatal to humankind. It started when my mom showed me the movie Armageddon. I remember being so amazed by the tension, the emotions and the cinematography of it. The way this group of drillers were recruited as astronauts in order to drill an asteroid to save humanity from the doomsday. I address you tonight 
not as the president of the United States, not as the leader of a country. And it moved me. It clicks something in me. From that point in my life, I thought, Mama, I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> I used to be so fixated on this goal that it was the single motivation for me to keep going. And the dream of me wanting to be an astronaut has been the only reason I, I had pretty good grades, I guess. And because I was so obsessed, I used to make scrapbooks filled with newspaper strips. I remember when I was 11, there was an article that I cut off and pasted in the book and it was about a Malaysian student that studied astrophysics I think and she was the one who discovered the supermassive black hole at that time it was such a huge deal for a child especially a Malaysian so the newspaper article that I pasted has been the center of my inspiration NASA press release uh, last week was about the discovery of two uh, hidden supermassive black holes in our cosmic backyard uh, and these uh, projects involve the whole NASA New Star Telescope team which is based in um, Caltech in USA and I was the lead researcher of one of the supermassive black holes discovered which is in the galaxy NGC 1448 the presence of the active supermassive black hole that uh, in this galaxy was uh, discovered about eight years ago in 2009. This is still a shocking discovery because uh, of the distance um, of this galaxy to us. It's like the 38 million years away from us. So in astronomy, this is very close. And the fact that the presence of an active supermassive black hole in the galaxy was only discovered less than 10 years ago, this is considered quite shocking. And my study is that I provide uh, the first direct imaging of this uh, supermassive black hole in this particular galaxy. Uh, we can't observe it directly before because it was uh, it is covered by a very thick layers of gas and dust around it. But now with uh, NASA's Haha, you thought that would be more, do you? I mean, that was the original plan I had in mind with me asking myself more questions such as hobbies, interests, favorite books and films. But I ran into some problems while editing it. First off, the original font that I wanted to use is apparently only available for pro users. So, you may have guessed it. I joined... I had to edit everything back. I found some good fonts that perfectly imitated the standard Netflix originals kind of kind of fonts, but then I realized, oh, you, I gotta pay for that for for premium t to be able to use it. So I I I I experimented with a lot of a lot of fonts until I finally settled for this one. I don't really like it, but it'll do. It'll do. So I just continued off with this horrible interview video that was definitely planned to be this way. My script was supposed to be longer than this, obviously, with lots more questions. But I was getting tired of editing it and my laptop was running out of storage, so it is what it is.